I have never been so excited to eat something in my whole life. I've got avocado toast, an iced vanilla latte. My toast is on sourdough bread with egg, cheese, mashed avo, obviously, and everything but the bagel seasoning. And just, will you just look? Ugh. Mm. Hello. Ooh, that's crooked. Oh, baby. Hmm. Oh no. Okay. Hi. It is, what time is it? 2 p.m. It is 2 p.m. on Saturday. And if you watched the vlog that at this point was posted last Saturday, so Tuesdays was the Trader Joe's video, the one before that, last Saturday, you will have seen at the end that I edited that video at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so. I was having all these issues last week with my computer just being really laggy when I was trying to edit. And I originally intended to put the Trader Joe's video up first and then that vlog. But I was just having the hardest time editing the Trader Joe's video. It was lagging way worse than the vlog for some reason. So at last minute I, I was like, let's flip them. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this up. But that happened on Friday and I had to go to Pedro and Natalia's party and you know, obviously I wasn't gonna push editing a video in front of my friend's last couple of dates here, you know? So when I got home at two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I edited that whole video from about 2 until about 4.30 was when I edited that video because I, I did the whole thing. I did the editing, I did putting all the metadata into YouTube, the thumbnail, all of it in the middle of the night. That being said, it is 2 p.m. now. I'm in a robe. I haven't showered yet. Like I've just been hanging out, trying to revive myself with that latte and avocado toast. I don't stay up until 4.30 in the morning anymore. I used to be very much a night owl. There are sirens going and I'm just gonna ignore them and keep talking. I used to be very much a night owl and I would stay up really late and get my best work done in the middle of the night. That is not me anymore. So I went to bed at 4.30, woke up at around 11 this morning and I, I have been getting a slow, slow start. So. As I said in that vlog that I just finished filming yesterday, there's a lot to do this weekend. I have like a ton to do before Ross and I head to Virginia on Tuesday. And I am not in a state to do a lot of it right now. So I'm gonna try to get started on some things that I can do at home. I've got my computer here. I'm doing some online shopping as well as some editing. I'm trying to get some videos up on Newsbreak. That totally falls to the side when I get busy because that's just the thing that makes the most sense for me to drop. I need to run back over to the uh, holiday market at DeKalb. I have some ideas for more gifts. I wish I could show you guys the stuff that I'm getting as gifts, but I don't want the people that the gifts are for to see them. Although this video you're watching, I guess if you're watching this the day it's up, it's Christmas Eve. So like, I wonder if anyone would even watch it before they got the gifts. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I gotta pull myself together. Also, apparently we are having a second going away party for Pedro and Natalia tonight because we just can't let them go. So I'm gonna be going to that tonight. Whew. is a lot later. It's like 5.30 now. I look more human. I'm getting ready to go out uh, to the second going away party for where Pedro and Natalia. I'm going to the East Village for this one. It's at our other friend's apartment. And I'm like, I haven't been out of the house. I haven't been out of the house today and I'm kind of annoyed at myself, but also I don't know. Had I not edited that video at four in the morning, I would have had to edit it today. So I mean, you know, swapping off laziness, I guess. Like work instead of sleep last night rather than the other way around. I'm a little nervous that this vlog is gonna be extremely boring for you. Uh, Cause 
my day was so unsuccessful. Well, actually, I don't know. It wasn't unsuccessful. I did get some things done. Just very stationary things. I ordered some gifts online. I got quite a bit of editing done. So, you know, just not the most vloggable stuff. Can I be honest with you guys? Half the time, I do my eye makeup with my fingers. And I'm using brushes right now because I'm on camera and I don't want to be judged. And I feel like I'm making a mess. <laughs> fingers work just as well, honestly. That's, just, that's what I'm used to using. I don't know how I got in that habit. I just feel like you can be so much more precise with your fingers. Oh, there we go. Like, I wasn't getting the curve that I wanted with my brush. Better. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't follow me for makeup advice. <laughs> I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner and Lipstick Mini Kit the other day. It's the tiny one. And I'm really obsessed with it. And as soon as I run out, I will be getting the larger version. I know I'm like really late to the trend on this. This has been the lipstick for a while. Um, but I just bought the bullet, bought the bullet, bit the bullet, and <laughs> got it. And I really do love it. It's really, really pretty color. I'm also not really a lip liner person. I can't talk while I do lip liner. I've never really been a lip liner person, is what I was saying, um, and decided I would try it because I guess it makes lipstick longer lasting, right? And I've always been annoyed at how quickly lipstick comes off. And I'm liking it. It makes my little tiny lips look thicker. Look at that. It's a gorgeous color. It's so pretty. And it smells like white chocolate, I think. Is that what, if you have it, is that what you think it smells like? That's what I think it smells like. Okay, let's go. Do it, you know. Oh. Here's Talia. Um, 8 million. What is 8 million? And what do you want to say? It's closer to 9 million now. Okay, so we'll see how updated this is. Okay. Hello, everyone. It is the next morning. I'm standing in my bathroom, even with the drippy toilet, even though I thought I wouldn't do that anymore. And I am about to teach a clarinet lesson. I normally don't do that on Sundays, but I've got one student who is in college and her schedule is just all over the place. So we make some exceptions for her sometimes. Um, but I'm gonna do that looking like this. Yes, yes I am gonna do that. And today I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna leave my apartment. I have a lot of things to do as I kept saying yesterday. And I was so concerned with like, I am so tired and I don't want to leave the house, but like most of what I need to do is at the house. So I'm just going to stay here today and try to get a ton of stuff done. For now, I'm going to teach a lesson. And then after that, though, I've decided I'm going to show you what I got people for Christmas. All right. I hopefully warned everyone in advance, but just in case I didn't, if you are a family member who will be receiving a gift from me for Christmas and you haven't gotten it yet, stop watching this video right now. This is going up on Christmas Eve, and you're either getting gifts tonight or tomorrow. So don't ruin the surprise, okay? That would be pretty rude of you. All right, so let's get into it. I don't have everything I bought here. Anything that I bought online, I sent directly to my parents' house. But here's what I have with me. I still need to buy a few more things. So this is not everything, but let's get into it. So 
first of all, this mug, this hot chocolate kit mug with old Nickelodeon characters on it. This is for my cousin Katie, who when she was here, we went in five below <laughs> and she found this and like wanted to buy it and just didn't. It was $5. So I made a note. I'm like, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get this. So this is for her. I bought a few of these for various cousins of mine. These just little wine tumblers. I think they're very cute, very useful. They're from the brand Ripple, R-I-P-L. I bought these mini wet brushes for two of my cousins. I use a large wet brush at home and I carry one of these in my backpack. These are my favorite hairbrush. I'm obsessed with mine. It doesn't rip your hair out. You can use them while your hair's wet. They're fantastic. I got these, the lip injection lip gloss from Too Faced for both my mom and my grandmother. They both have thinner lips like me. And I've heard my grandma mention wanting something like this several times. And my mom actually gave me the idea saying that she would like something like that. So I got these for both of them. And oh my gosh, you guys do these work. I obviously tried it in Sephora before buying because I didn't want to get them a crappy product. I'm going to put a picture on the screen. Please ignore the rest of my face. I like snuck and took this in the Columbus Circle Mall and I didn't want to be obvious in my face. Like I look angry, but look at my lips. <laughs> this stuff really, really works and it didn't even feel awful like lip injection glosses do sometimes. Like I bought a really cheap one um, at Five Below that hurt. Like it really hurt my lips. That does not. I got these metal straws also for my mom because she loses hers all the time. She's constantly losing her straws, so I'm just getting more, which will probably get lost. Okay, also for my mom. These are from a local business, City Bits, Joan Huggard. These beautiful earrings. They, yeah, they're like shiny. I just thought these were gorgeous. I kind of wanted them for myself. I picked them up. There's a flea market every Saturday out in front of Fort Greene Park. I picked these up there in like early November. So this t-shirt that I am wearing, I just bought on Friday from Lola Star at the City Point Holiday Market. And I bought several more of these too, not this exact one. I am obsessed with this. I just think this is the cutest design. I think mean, the colors are so cute. Amazing. So, I got this one for my cousin Katie. These are very her colors. I feel like she'll like this one. And then I got this for my dad. Also just a classic bridge design. Mine, mine's a little funkier, but you know. Okay, and then lastly, this is all I have on me. I bought five of these New York Philharmonic baseball caps. Can I, I can't get it on with my clip. But New York Philharmonic baseball caps for all of my uncles. And I got two of these New York Philharmonic pins. One is for my grandmother. I'm not actually sure who the other one is for yet. I just bought two. Okay, and also I don't have this on me, so I'll just pop up pictures, but I always get asked every year what I'm getting for Ross. So I got Ross a pair of sneakers that he said that he liked in a store not too long ago. He's been needing sneakers for a long time. So I got those. And I also got him a freezable lunchbox for him to take to work. He always packs his lunches. And this one has like, you pop it in the freezer and it's got the freezer bags like, like inside the fabric. So I thought that was really cool. I kind of honestly feel like I need to grab him something that's maybe a little more personal than that. Like, I just feel like it's so practical. But also Ross really does like practical gifts a lot. So, okay, here's a gift buying tip of mine. Pay attention to the type of gifts that someone buys for other people. 
because those are probably the types of gifts they're gonna appreciate themselves. So like Ross is a very practical gifter. He buys a lot of practical gifts for people. For example, I, I like to buy personalized gifts a lot. I really didn't so much this year, but stuff like once I got my dad a mug with a picture of him and his dog on it. One year I got everybody ornaments with some sort of meaningful photo, whether it be like their wedding photo, or I got my grandparents ones that had a photo of them with me on it. Like very personalized things like that. I really appreciate receiving gifts like that. You know, if somebody buys more luxurious gifts, like uh, fluffy robes and makeup and things like that, that's probably a gift they would appreciate themselves. So just, I don't know, just a little tip of mine that I've noticed, kind of buy for people what they give to others and they're probably gonna be happy about it. Like I said, I have also ordered a few more things that I don't have here and I do need to get a couple more things, which I will probably order today. I'm really aiming to finishing, finishing. I'm really aiming to finish my shopping today. So we'll see what happens. I gotta get a lot done. Oh my gosh, I just realized I missed one. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. Ross got this for his sister, Georgia. And yeah, it's just, it's perfect. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put um, the Instagram handles for the artist up on the screen. I made the same avocado toast again as yesterday and just, oh my God, I'm so excited. Look, I know this is just avocado toast. It is not groundbreaking by any means, but I always do this thing with lunches and breakfast where I will eat the same thing for months. And then I just forget about it and start eating something else. And I kind of forgot how much I love avocado toast. I am at this angle because I wanted to show you exactly how dark it's getting in here. It's 4.30 and I'm still not over it. But it's also 4.30. And I haven't done a whole lot of what I said I was gonna do, but I'm about to kick into gear. And I think I'm actually gonna start with some packing, which is wild for me. I'm not leaving until Tuesday evening. And normally I would pack on like Tuesday, but I think it's just gonna make me feel a lot better to get packed. And then I'm gonna be able to do other things more reliably, maybe, I don't know, let's do it. I am looking rough, but that is okay because I'm feeling much better about where I'm at in regards to getting ready to leave here for Christmas in a couple of days. I got some cleaning done. I got some packing done. I didn't get the shopping done. <laughs> I didn't get the shopping done. I got, I got some ideas and I think I'm good. I just need to go out and like actually do it in real life because it's about too late to order anything but I'm feeling better. I'm feeling in a better place. Okay, so you're watching this on Christmas Eve. So next week we will be back to usual schedule because Christmas is over. So no video on Tuesday. I'll be back on Saturday, which is New Year's Eve. It will be a New Year's themed video. Last year over Vlogmas, I played a few Christmas carols on my clarinet for you guys and I haven't done that this December. So that's what I'm gonna leave you with. If you are watching this on Christmas Eve when it is posted, I really hope you enjoy the holiday. Let me know in the comments what, what you did for the holidays this year. And yeah, thank you for everything. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy this Christmas carol.